Hello there, Taurus. Thank you for joining me on this video on my channel. This is for the portal on 2-22-2021. However, we have been working with and tapping into these energies. I see the new moon that we just had on the 11th, very much connected to that 222 portal. And that is for divine union, for abundance, for tapping in, connecting with yourself, with your guides and guardians and um, the collective for really tuning in, clearing up your soul song frequency and, um, you know, just getting further into your evolution. So I was guided to do, whoa, there's one. I was guided to do readings for the portal. First card, two of swords. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Second card. The, oh, sorry, the strength card. After the two of swords. Interesting. Oh, <laughs> wow. These are really flying. We have the page of swords. Let it air the tower so your first four we're going to pull eight unless more pop i was just in the aries and i i did get an extra card and i even got an extra card in the oracle too so that's why that video is a little bit longer um uh, more cards it's a longer it takes ace of wands in reverse Three of Wands, straight up. So if you don't know me, I am a psychic, physical empath, medical medium, channeler, um, a regular medium, a psychic advisor, soul guide, and I offer a lot of services, private readings, energy healing. I work with animals and people, and I also offer a uh, ascension healing program called the Evolve Now program. So uh, it's deep, deep healing and clearing and connecting and infusion um, takes place over a course of a few days, and you get support from me from for a month after that. And I offered two hour free consultation for it. Ooh, the Empress, nice. So anyway, if you're so guided, check out my website, healingbutterfly.org and 10 of Pops and Reaper. Okay. Oh, wow, this is so interesting. So interesting. Okay, so let me tap in here. Just want more events. <laughs> you don't mind the smoke. Okay, so. I'm feeling a really sudden shift happen here. Um, a really sudden shift in your past. And you going from being not well, um, confused, depressed, sick, maybe all of the above, uh, right, like being guided towards your spirituality, pulled towards your soul, but just being ravaged with with negative energy stuck up in you. Um, but also like wanting to give up, but also just like you just can't give up. It's just like you just. So this could be a very recent past and your, your shift happened very suddenly. 
So um, from asleep, sick to awake and feeling good, um, more spiritually connected. But this is just the beginning of the story here. Like that is just that it's, it was rapid, it was fast. Um, maybe there was an event, maybe it was just a pandemic and, and going inward, inside, being more isolated, not being so distracted that caused this. Um, it could be, it could have been, it could have been just some, it could have been, I mean, nothing is by chance or random, but it could have been something you, you watched or read that was like this paradigm shifting time for you. It could have been a video you watched. It could have been a documentary. It could have been a combination of that, but in any event, You've been on this road of discovery, of taking chances, of really believing in yourself and where, you know, just the, the journey, just like, oh, okay. So now I've got to, I've got to figure some stuff out. I've got to learn some stuff because, and there's people, this is like a real thing. Uh, and this portal it's just going to amplify this. You're just going to be more driven to, to learn, to seek out information. And we're going to have another big breakthrough, more revelations, more shifting, more changing, more things evolving and turning into or one, from one to another kind of thing. Um, again, maybe suddenly uh, with this energy here with the the lightning. So you've even like allowed yourself to, you know, you being a, an earth sign, you allowing yourself to get woo woo, <laughs> get floaty. And when it came to the information that, that from our uh, full moon guidance, which was not only for the full moon, for, but the theme for the whole year was about connecting with your angelics, with your guides, getting into the woo, allowing yourself to, to, to leave that grounded earth position and move into that higher place. And, and I think that you've been doing that and you've made a lot of progress and, um, but there's more still coming. There's more shifting. There's more changing within you. And I'm also feeling just like this, just seeing more of the world and noticing more of nature and Gaia and that whole thing. Um, this is actually really in alignment with one of my clients who happens to be a Taurus. So shout out to Miss Mary. Um, but I feel like this has also been the path for a lot of people in your soul group. Um, or, you know, the, the house of Taurus, those, you know, all of you you uh, bulls out there, you earthly bulls out there, strong, independent, um, logical, studious, right? Intelligent, cunning, um, strong for sure. And like explained in the, the readings that I do by the elements is because each element is a group of souls that have that in any place and time are going to be dealing with similar themes. Um, so that's all be guided to work with just the elements. And then at other times, like I'm being guided to for this event is working very specifically with the individual um, signs because I think maybe more individuals are coming through to, to get these messages. So it shifts and changes how I put out information. But the point here is, is that 
there are groups of souls that that are representative in each element what um earth sorry fire water earth and air and uh and yeah i think that the situation with a lot of a lot of the, the taurus our taurus souls over this last period is this these quick you know is possibly just really um have i have i have actually a few clients that are taurus and they've all um either moon or or sun signs and and they've all been in this kind of state and then either working in so, trying so many different things before getting to to me and then having this major shift or having having a, a kind of a what, like a pre a pre shift shift that gets them to the big to the big thing anyway moving on the uh ace of wands here in reverse So okay, again, I'm seeing um, highly connected psychically. Maybe you're just you're still figuring it out. You're not understanding really how you see, what you see, what you know. You know it's just one of those things, and I think that that's kind of the case, especially for Earth signs. Um, it takes usually a little bit to get over the hump because they're so grounded in reality and, 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 and also envision things being a certain way. And it's just a little bit more subtle in the psychic with the psychic eye. Not that we can't see really dynamically we can, but anyway, this is on its way to being more, you know, seeing seeing and feeling more but with that comes more energy coming through so you need to be able to work on how you balance that out and um i will literally be bringing in way too much white light code psychic stuff channeling to and i'm not releasing and i'm not balancing the energy to where i'll get that's what these little marks are here. I'll get these, they're called energy welts and it'll literally look like a bug bite. They itch, they burn. It's like, it's literally energy coming up from the inside out because you're not regulating that enough. It's just too much coming in. The body just needs to release. It's also a good way, good indicator that you're, that you need to work on that. <laughs> so you know, we're not, none of us are perfect. So, you know, no, whatever advice I'm telling you, it's not like I'm a hundred percent perfect in any of this stuff either. Um, we're all human. And, you know, when I tell you and I give you advice on things to do, don't assume that it's like, I'm a hundred percent in any of it either. You know, I am, I'm human. I do the best that I can, but the point is here is that you are shifting, things are changing and more energy is going to be coming through and you need to understand how to work your body how to first like really clear it out uh what i what i say cut all the fat off cut as much of the fat off the energetic fat off of you that is no longer needed um and i feel that that with a lot of you you're kind of getting there like you've done a good amount of um soul searching figuring out you know what modalities what kind of work that you need to do with yourself to clear yourself heal yourself ground yourself connect yourself activate yourself remember uh yourself it's the whole thing we have three r's i release i receive i remember i rise so it goes in that order and they have to be constantly happening we need to be able to regulate our bodies so we don't literally burn up on the inside while we're re receiving all this psychic information at the same time 
we have this thing going on um, and in this deck, these like her headwear here, or whatever this is supposed to be. Um, I always see that as energy cords. So there's been a lot of talk, a lot of guidance coming in about understanding what energy cords are. Um, and then working with them, cutting energy um, off, which really just means bringing energy back into the body, empowering yourself. You'll physically feel it afterwards for maybe a day or two as you integrate the energy back into the body. But cutting cords is definitely necessary. See all these, all these connections and it's like in the way of her energy, of her, you know, light. And it's just difficult for her to, to, do, to manage all of this. So cords absolutely need to be cut. Here we have the three of wands. Um, going into nature is a big part of this. That's so funny because <laughs> my client was just telling me how she thinks how going to the beach is one of the things that really just makes her feel so amazing and 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 renewed so it's really funny we have the empress right next to this speech really coming through and saying yeah we're talking about connecting with gaia connecting with 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 nature working with the elements we've got air fire water earth everything is going on here the three is as a you above and below. So it's like you being in the center, um, our other worlds, our, our soul, our, you know, the, the hidden worlds, however you want to put it is what is the top of the three. You're the middle. And then like Gaia is, is the other. So that's kind of the way I'm seeing this right now with this three of wands. So creating a, a loop, a bridge within, um, within this, and then working with Gaia, really connecting with Gaia and the moon and the sun. So the sun is coming from here. We see this moon back here and, and we see her pregnant with, with nature, with earth, with connection, but it's, it's also about creation and being creative. So that's coming in. We're going to be getting more creative. Uh, maybe you, that's part of your, your jam. And it's just been a little bit difficult to get that going in full swing. But I really feel that that's going to be coming in, in these, after these next few weeks those, those creational energies that is so important for all of us, but at different times for some of us, we're guided, we're always guided to create in some way. So it's important to recognize that and to follow through with that when we're guided. Um, but especially like if we're creating art, if we're creating things for people to see, to consume, to, to get inspired with, just seeing a lot of color, a lot of artwork, drawings, paintings, watercolor, working with the, all the colors. Um, like even maybe if normally just black and white, just pencil is your, is your thing. You're going to be really feeling like, let's get into color. Let's play with color. Let's really tap in with that, um, that energy. So very creational. So I'm really feeling with this portal, this is going to, this is about more shifts coming quickly with the energy. So it's really important to clear your energy field, get really good at that with, you know, shielding, clearing, grounding, healing yourself, using water, the element of water being so important um, with healing. It was another thing my client was saying was, I didn't realize so she thought from somebody else even, you know, you have to hear it sometimes multiple times. And she was like, 
being in water is so is so healing to me. I didn't realize how healing it was. And it, it really is. It's a, it's a living crystal. You can submerge yourself in. It extrapolates negative energy. So if you can't get to the beach, start taking baths. If you're not a bath person, I get it. I never was either my entire life, I, maybe when I was a child. But aside from that, as a teen, as an adult, all through adulthood to into my mid forties, just in these last couple of years, have I been into taking baths? I always found them boring. I just would just, I don't get it. Like it was just one of those things, but, but we're, but going into, go look at all this water here with a ton of cups. So just imagine you being in, in water or in your bath and, and and it really is like a portal. It really is. You get naked, you're alone. You put on frequency music, whatever speaking to you, whatever sounds good, whatever pops. Um, have your your salts, your essential oils, your crystals, your candles. And as soon as you get into the water, it started to happen for me a few years ago. Like all of a sudden, I start get da- getting downloads. It was just like like what I put in here in any other place in my house or the world, when I got into the shower, when I got in, into, into that space, I could start hearing. And one of the things I heard was you really need to be taking baths to heal yourself, to clear your energy. Absolutely. It is so important because it, again, you're submerged. Just imagine here, take a look. My beautiful crystal ball. And just imagine being inside of that and how, how healing that is. And if you see how it reflects light, you are light. And when you get in water, that's reflective. So everything of light can come in and and shine and reflect off of you even better and come through for guidance. And so that's what water is. You're in a crystal. And, and the negative energy and, and clear crystal quartz or water is the most powerful healing clear crystal. Um, quartz is the most powerful healing. Oh God, I love this crystal so much. Look at that. I also have a service that I go crystal gathering with Gaia. So if you're into crystals and like a lot of crystals for not a lot of money, take a look at my website. But anyway, the most powerful is the clear. It amplifies everything. It heals, it clears, it, it, uh, it grounds you. It, 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 I definitely have a, an abundance of clear because of how, what it does. So you need to take baths. If you can't take baths, um, at least soak your feet, soak your hands. At least if you don't have a bath you can use, then soak your feet in your hands at least two, three times a week for at least 15 minutes. So get something, you can soak your feet in, put put your salts in there. Soak your hands and just meditate, put on some healing frequency music. Um, I'm going to be doing more meditations every single day. So that would be a good time to, it's awesome to do pretty much any meditation in water is going to make it that much more powerful. It's just not always, you know, the most practical thing, but if you can, that's always a good place to meditate or just meditating on your own, connecting with your guides, just seeing what happens. It's, it's always where every, where like the, the most intense downloads come to me, um, where I do my healing, where I do my integrations, um, I get my downloads is all that stuff is in the bath. Private. It's you're naked, you're in water, you have your music playing, et cetera, et cetera. So it's very important to do that. And so that's part of this 10 of cups. So is creativity. So is color. So is art. And just kind of 
start getting it. So one of my other website is the keys to create.com for it. The, it's supposed to be a portal for creators. I haven't really done anything with it in forever. They've been really busy, but um, my art is there and you're welcome to add your art as well. It's supposed to be a place where you can share and, um, but anyway, just know that, that being creational is extremely important for your soul, my dear earth sign. Extremely, extremely important because you're, you are an earth sign and you're connected with Gaia in, in a different way than the other elements, I, I believe. And um, also animals, birds in particular, I'm feeling here. Um, I'm hearing get a cat. So if you've been thinking about getting a cat, the answer is get a cat. Um, if you've just gotten a cat, congratulations, but I'm hearing get a cat. I know this is a lamb, but I'm feeling cat here. I mean, I know that's a lion, but just here I'm feeling cat. Cats are super healing, super intuitive, super psychic, super healers. Uh, so good to have with you. Just make sure that you clear and and heal, heal your, your animals. Selenite works great. I show this to my cats and they literally come running. Um, they love it. You just rub it on them. It's not that complicated. But anyway, I hear cats. I'm feeling birds. Maybe you're noticing birds more. Uh, maybe birds are talking to you more or just going out into nature and, and watching birds. I'm just some that's just coming in here. Um, okay, so moving on. Moving on, we're going to do uh, a couple moonology cards. And I've already done this, but I'm going to do it again. This is my Palo Santo and my Sage. So we'll get a couple cards here with our moonology. You know, uh, definitely <laughs> the moon is a big part of this energy. If you have not done that new moon, that new moon meditation yet, make it a priority and then make it the next priority to do the abundance and money wound meditation. So we're clearing and then cord cutting. You have a lot to do, my dear Taurus, as far as um, getting in alignment with energy, but that's okay. What else have you got to do? Look at the bigger picture. Interesting. Nothing will come of this situation. Uh, okay, I have to pull another. <laughs> wow. Interesting. What do you need to release? <laughs> okay. That funny. <laughs> like, can we be more on point here? Sorry, that just cracks me up. Because listen, we got these same Oracle cards for Aries. And, and Similarly, not about the creation and the art and any of that stuff, but it was, we definitely need cut cords, um, most importantly, and, um, and just, you know, work on energy, but, uh, but we got these, these two cards. So this one, nothing will come of this, of this situation basically means two things, dream time, sleep time, go to sleep when you're being told to go to sleep. Doesn't matter what time of the day it is. Doesn't matter how long. Don't set alarms if you don't have to. Um, try to recognize, remember what goes on there. If, if you can, as you wake up, um, or just ask your guides to, you know, help you throughout the day. Just recall. 
The next thing that this means is if you don't do this work, um, psychically meditating, clearing, and healing yourself, nothing's going to, nothing will come of it. You're going to be in kind of this state, this, you know, this state, not feeling well kind of thing. You're on the trajectory to go forward, to have all this, all the elements are in play here. So there's balance there. We just need to do, um, do more cord cutting and, and do your meditations uh, in a timely manner. Like I'm hearing no lollygagging, not like, oh, you know, do, do them. And like I said, I'm going to be putting out daily meditations. So, you know, you can do them at any time. You can do the new moon meditation for 2021 in 2031. It's still going to be powerful. But the point is we're here in the now and the energy is coming. Like we're, you're not going to have another 222, 2021 to capitalize on these energies right? So that's not going to happen. That is exclusive to now. So that's why it's important to get into it now. So to, to, to get on with all of this, because it really needs to happen. Nothing will happen or things will start to, to get, like the progress will start to fade because you're not when you're trying to save America's doing what, oh my now. goodness, that's loud. Sorry. Goodness. Oh, it got to the end of the pitch. Did it get to the end of the pitch? Sorry, guys. I was so obnoxious. I didn't realize it was that far down. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> anyway, just very, very important there. Um, make it a priority. Stay with the light. See the bigger picture. Um, and again dream state, astral state, meditation, very important, kind of being a theme here. What do you need to release? Do your inventory, read the book. If you, if it's been a long time since you read it, read it again, do your inventory for cords that you need to cut, um, people, people, situations, experiences that hold a negative charge, um, that need to be cut. And what do you need to release? What do you need to release? Good question. <laughs> very, very good question. Okay, and next we're going to get into the Hidden Worlds Oracle. Wow. Speaking of healing. <laughs> The Healing Temple of the Lunar Light, part number 19, Life Cycles, Energy Healing, Communication. Well, what do you know? <laughs> On point, and let's see what we have here. Such a beautiful card. The Healing Temple. This is the Healing Temple that we go to in the cord cutting meditation. Um, so... I mean, it could look different to you, but it's the healing temple that we go to. The healing temple, temple of lunar light. We're talking about the portal and it being connected to the new moon, the full moon, all this stuff. So our moon is so important to our healing and to what comes through. All right, let's get going. Page number 72 and 73. Life cycles, energy, healing, communication. The cycles of the lunar being who dwells within the skies above this planet have great powers to help us let go, to help us revive, to help us grow, to help us celebrate, to help us heal in all of these aspects. Likewise, the lunar light heals us as newborn, then as children, as adults and old ones alike. She reflects these stages in her cycles and no matter what point we are at on the wheel, we can find within her healing light and the waters she blesses at every stage of the cycle a sense of who we truly are and bring ourselves to a place of rest and wonder within each stage. 
maiden, mother, and crone, hunter, father, and sage, all alike must enter the temple of the wisdom of our cycles. And the temple now calls you to honor the stage of your life you are at. Each stage has its challenges. And as you begin to honor where you are in the on the wheel, there will be a healing of the energy within. The very cells within you, the DNA within those cells will respond to the healing light of the moon. And if you take yourself out beneath her at the stage which is calling you, you will begin to find a serenity and solace at the daylight that the daylight cannot give you. And within those moments, if you let your gaze soften, you may see revealed the healing temple of lunar light, which lies between the worlds and which is there for you when you open up and allow yourself to receive their blessings. And, and as you receive, so shall you learn and become the healer who walks in the world and whose energy can change those about you. Oh my goodness, illumination. I will gladly enter the healing temple of lunar light for there I will find what I have been seeking so long. Oh man, it's been a while since I've gotten it since we've seen this card and since I've read that, it just gets me really emotional. This entire deck gets me kind of deepy. <laughs> it's special like that. Um, so yeah, what can I say? What can I add to this? It's it is pretty much what it is. You're like we said, you you've gone through quick quick changes. I guess I was reading that and I thought of this card and where we started off, where we are now, and how different that looks in a relatively short amount of time. And, you know, they talked about learning and, and putting energy into, into that kind of thing, really tapping into those energies. And yeah, you know, uh, you know, when it's time, it's time. And if you find yourself here, or you're watching this reading, it's for a reason. It's definitely time allow yourself to, you know, fully step into your power. I mean, look at this card. It's only the second card and it's the strength card. Definitely healing, healing powers. Um, like I said, we got the strength card as the bonus card in the last reading. Here it came out in the second. And for the first time in the last reading, I see this nine here. It's subtle, but it's a, it's a nine. Can also be a seven, but I'm really seeing it as a nine starting here at the point with your heart chakra. That's really telling me healer. Every healer has gone through every real, <laughs> trust me in my own life. Um, but every true divine incarnate natural born healer has been through some shit in their life, physically, emotionally, whatever, however you may want to put it in different ways. Some of us, is, it's, it's more physical. Some it's maybe more emotional. Some it's both. Um, but in any event, very strong, very powerful, but a lot to sort out and figure out because the more power you have, the more abilities you have, the more complicated it is that what your energy is and how that affects you, how that affects other people. Remember, I told you about the welts. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> going to the healing temple, what do you need to release? The healing temple uh, meditate, where we go to the healing temple and the meditation I facilitate, is for cord cutting. And that is what do you need to release? So, and again, whatever stage you're at, you're at, you've got cords to cut, period. If you're five years old, you can cut cords. So by the time we make it to adulthood, trust me, there's lots of cords that need to be cut. 
um, friends, families, uh, family members, lovers, um, situations, traumas, addictions. Um, you can even, yes, cut cords to addictions. Or even if you've gotten over certain addictions or certain vices that you've been a part, like that have you know, been a controller in your world, you can cut the energy ties to that addiction, those situations that are all tied up with that addiction. That would be a lot of things with any addiction usually. So you can either cut cords to help you heal or you can cut cords since you've been away from it, but it's still a charge. People tell me that they just feel incredibly light and, um, and like they've lost weight and just so much better after they do cord cutting. So, so seriously, that's the thing. Okay, guys, this is way longer than I thought it was going to be. Thank you for joining me here. I hope you resonate with these messages. Remember your power, your shifting, connecting, cord cutting, nature, create. There's a lot here. Create creational energies coming through with this portal. Just work on what you need to release. So allow all this to happen. Pay attention to your sleep and your dream state and what's going on there. How you feel when you wake up. Allow your body to integrate with, with light and light codes. Um, before you get out of bed, just imagine your body just integrating with light codes and whatever you did in your astral and just allowing that to, to work into the body before you jump out of bed in the morning um, to get going. I guess that's the last thing. Thank you so much for joining me here on this video. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Let me know how this resonated for you. Again, visit me at thehealingbutterfly.org. Check out my website and um, reach out if you're so guided. Until next time, peace out guys. Bye.